Well, hello friends and good evening and welcome back to the garden we'll just go ahead and say it's the first of August it's tomorrow but it is August can you believe it it's already here fall is just around the corner in my mind of course and this channel it's fall and Halloween already But back to the garden, these white roses, I'm starting to think that they are climbers, the way they're growing. They seem to be growing more upright than outward. And I wish I'd got more of these, because they have been blooming nonstop all summer long and spring. Another reason I wish I'd got more was I do plan on putting three that way and some this way and kind of making a little hedge with those in this area. This is what I'm calling the triangle garden. It's been many different things since we've moved here. This balsam here is uh, kind of on its way out, looking a little rough. So around this trellis here, I planted Gara, pink Gara, and it's not bloomed like it should be. Maybe it's going to, I see a little bit of bloom there. So like I said, this is the what I'm calling the triangle garden, and since we've been here, it's been a few different things. Uh, when we first moved in, it was uh, all gravel, so I guess it was kind of a little more of a part of the driveway, I guess. Never knew what to do with it, so um, our first season here, we had some vegetable, raised vegetable gardens. And as you know, as the season goes on, the vegetables get wild and crazy. So I decided not to leave that in here. It was just too much in this area. So since then it's been just a random flower bed and now I'm wanting to turn it into a little bit more of a formal garden and I'll work on that later this fall and next year but I want to put some um, uh, boxwood hedges kind of define the triangle shape here and then I'll go in with a layer of the white roses keeping that triangle shape if that's making sense and then in the center it'll just all be filled in with pink gara and if y'all have seen this gara in bloom it is beautiful it's a very um I don't know how to describe it like very airy and pixie dust like when it's in bloom so anyway, also have a white butterfly bush that's gotten huge this year. Started out no taller than this Gara. And then, because I planted it last fall and it was given to me uh, from a neighbor's mom. So that sucker loves its spot. been cutting the red blooms off of my cannas got a morning glory taking over that one but I just prefer the foliage so I've been cutting the red blooms off I just love like I said love that burgundy foliage balls them here and I'll probably go in I should have already done it but I'll go in and cut sorry I'm swatting at some mosquitoes cut some of these leaves off to show off more of the blooms
This is the best Bathsheba David Austin Rose climbing. And this is the reason I decided to do this tour this evening. Because the sun is going down and it's really showing off the true color of these roses. And I did have one on the other side as well. I tried to dig that up uh, this spring and it did not go so well. So I think I killed it, unfortunately. All right, now we're looking at the main garden bed, gar garden island here in the backyard. I've been weeding. It is hard to keep up with the weeds, but it does look a lot better than it did. There is that easy does it coral rose. I love how that looks next to this Montauk daisy. Sorry for the background noise. I thought this was going to be a peaceful garden tour. Autumn Joy Sedum. That's what this is. And that one. Looking fantastic this year. I love... E now, I know these blooms are going to turn a rust rusty pink color. If you guys have this in your garden, you know what I mean. It'll turn that color in the fall. But I really love it just the way it is. That dark foliage and then the bright green we've got cosmos coming up these were last year's seed and unfortunately it's uh, broke there but I kind of like it better lower anyway so anyway excuse me while I step out of the garden so maybe next year I'll try cutting it back and maybe it won't get so tall? I don't know. I've never done that with Cosmos. The Phlox. This is a hot pink Phlox. I'm not sure what the real name, the botanical name is for it or this variety, but you can see that I cut it back. Oh, I guess that was about a little over a month ago and it is starting to rebloom. Well, we have been in the 90s and pretty much 100 degrees here in Louisville. Today it has cooled off a little bit. Feels much better this evening. Um, we don't have that real mugginess going on. But the, the heat will still be here for a while and of course the mosquitoes. There just comes a point that time of the season where I'm like, bring on fall. <laughs> and for my Halloween and haunt viewers on my channel, yes, it's August, and yes, I have started on my indoor. Halloween decorating. I'll probably be posting a video soon. And a lot of things are subject to change, so I put it up early, I get to enjoy it more, and um, it takes a little bit to figure out where I want things. So tomorrow I'll be out here before work. I'm going to work on this area right here. This is supposed to be the Ajuga path. And 
This is the Ajuga ground cover. These mosquitoes are crazy. So this is the Ajuga path and I'll be putting flagstone in here to make a little pathway eventually. <laughs> but I need to get out here and weed that good. Hibiscus. It is the season of hibiscus and they have started to bloom. Show you, this is a midnight, I want to say midnight marvel or something like that, but have lots of blooms on it. This one looks nice here in the shade. I'm not going to keep this blue chair here, but um, I do want to eventually have a little park bench sitting there. So if you're new here and you're wondering what in the world is going on here, this is, so I do a haunted yard and haunted walkthrough in the garage. Again, it goes in the garage, out, through, out in the yard here, all the way around, and comes back through here. And this scene is an old church or chapel. going to have some white shiplap on the on the exterior of it on the facade but anyway we'll walk through here might have an actor right here and I was thinking I know this is <laughs> I'm going too much into detail here I know this is a garden video but anyway my plan is uh, to have pews on each side that they have to walk in between and I would love to get some actors and have one one of the actor be real like I'm gonna have figures sitting in the pews and I would like to have one actor be real and actually scare and they'll go on out there to the next scene but anyway not to get off on a rabbit trail but that's what's going on here I already had these old doors picked up on the side of the road I'm using old Christmas trees to make um, some foliage there but anyway back to the garden here is my hosta garden it's been mulched this season and plan to get more and fill in all right my friends moving this video along here um, the mosquitoes are eating me alive so here is a look at some of my zinnias in this um, this year's cottage garden um, I used to have shrubs in here burning bushes and hydrangeas but I've decided to turn this into more of a cottage garden so got some hibiscus in there here and right there and of course lots of weeds so I gotta get out here and work on that sorry if I'm moving too fast Black at Susan's here. All right, I want to hurry up and get out front so I can show you that. All right, so today's weeding area was I need I had to get in here and get all the weeds out of here, all around the crepe myrtle there. I have this one particular weed that just takes over this whole area for some reason. But anyway, the purple fountain grass here is 
still looking great in this container. The blue is blue labilia and silver falls dichondra. Love this plant. It's my first year using it. And I love how this color looks with the foliage of the grass. My white zinnias are finally blooming. Might have to get more of these next year for my moon, moon garden. Plan on working on next year. But there was weeds all in here. Another pile. And this gorgeous crepe myrtle. Not sure what kind this is. It was here when we bought the house. But it looks fantastic every year. And these blooms will get so, so full and heavy at times that it snaps the branches. Especially when it rains. Limelight hydrangeas. Container still looking decent. Um, Spirea shrubs here are putting on their second flush of bloom, but I love how everything has filled in this season. I like the chartreuse color there of the Spireas and the Barberry. This is probably one of my favorite plants this season in my garden. The Puckster Blue Butterfly Bush. This is a dwarf butterfly bush. <laughs> but looking absolutely amazing. Tons and tons of blooms on this this year. This is the second year I've had them, but before they bloom, they're this dark purple, and then they turn into a bright lavender color. Camera is not giving it justice at all. Speaking of more purple, we've got asters starting to bloom. This will give me a um, late summer fall color. So if you guys remember I divided this aster this year like crazy. Like it was you know probably the size of this right here. And in this season that's how much bigger it got. I've got it repeated along the edge there. So I just have a few more seconds on this video. I'm just going to kind of pan the border here.
think this is the best year that everything has looked. Especially the border here up front. 